Alrighty, welcome back to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. It has been like three months since I last played the storyline. Uh, I did log on and then I was lagging, so I forgot we started. But <laughs> it's been three months since I tackled the story and all the other side stuff in the main campaign. Although I did do the couple of DLCs, System Rift and the other one that I already forgot the name of. Uh, <laughs> we played through those and they were alright. They were alright. But obviously, I need to finish the game at some point, and, you know, it's not like I dislike the game. I like Deus Ex, so we'll see what ends up happening. Now, last we left off, I believe we were going to be entering the Red District officially in order to find out who the heck bombed Future Past and Tiki. And then we also have a side mission. What is that? Uh, let's see. We have a side mission to find... Vince Black's informant because he's gone missing and he's not reporting, so we gotta find out what happened to him. Now with that said, before I go Problems in there, already. I kinda look around because I don't think I've actually checked this area out completely. Actually, you know what, now that I'm getting a look at the stores and things like that, I have. I just never came over here at night time. Because, well, it wasn't nighttime when we first came through here. Huh. Also, what the heck? Well, we got these 3D holograms. They had to ban cameras in the red light district. Too many upstanding citizens were caught in compromising positions. <laughs> well, maybe they should go find a different district to check some out, ladies. Some back from vacation to post photos, and some official would lose his job. <laughs> pretty hilarious. Yeah, I do find that pretty funny. Some jerk back from the Oh boy. What's in here? I just want to make sure I've checked out every different avenue. Now, uh, in terms of my inventory, I did sell some stuff off. I logged on and I noticed that I had some items. So I sold them off because, well, obviously I'm not going to be using a shotgun or an assault rifle. We're still doing non-lethal things. We're going to burn this building down by leaving the stove on forever. You know? I always wanted a stove like this. I've had a... Um, in the house I've been living in for the majority of my life, I have one that kind of has... And I know it's a weird thing to talk about, but it's just something I want. I want a stove that like that's like that, where there's nothing sticking out, I don't have to clean up some metal conductive thing. It's just smooth wipe over the surface. I've so busy at work lately. I have not had time to get any of my errands done. Do your errands involve dealing with other ladies? Because why are you here? Please, I do not mean to be rude. I'm just very tired. I see. Have you ever been to the Red Queen? It is something to see, even if you're not into that sort of thing. I mean, we're heading in there right now. She's taking a selfie. Decadence and excess can be so fascinating. Are these supposed to be lips? Oh. Oh, God. I really don't want to be here. Help. Goes, honey. Hi. If you've got the credits. I have over 99,000 credits. Almost, actually, over 100,000. Holy shit. Anything goes here, baby. As long as you have the credits to back it up. Sorry, you Square Enix aren't mature enough to make sex scenes. Disappointed. Anything within reason, of course. You get too rough, and the locals will gladly repay you in kind. I'm not interested anyways. Well, I'm interested in the curiosity kind of way, but I'm not... Actually, oh god. I feel like a creep. Like just looking at all this stuff makes me go, ah, I shouldn't be here. Why are you talking about organized crime? Safe. It's run by criminals. Think about it. Oh, because the Bali family. to allow anybody to start trouble in their place of business, not even the cops. Look at you. I bet you never have to worry about street crime. I wish. Before the incident, I used to think about getting augmented, but I was too scared. Wow, I now I'm scared of everything else. <laughs> I can't believe this. Stranded here in this neighborhood while my friends are off to some day. cool warehouse art gallery with a bunch of cute boys. Some friends, huh? Didn't even leave me with the key to the hostel. <sighs> Asshole. <laughs> okay. Not much fun here alone, honestly. I do not even have enough credits to afford... Oh, what am I saying? 
<laughs> oh yeah, don't want to put yourself in a compromising position at the Red Queen area, because we're totally gonna judge you. Look at all these episodes. Oh. Joke. Why don't you go fuck yourself? Uh, I'm not interested. Okay, sorry. It's been a long time. I might as well. Stop arguing! We need to befriend each other! These are trying times, and yelling at each other in the middle of an alley is just... It breaks my heart and forces me to kill people. I will move on. There are a lot of NPCs around here, though. Holy crap. Like, we didn't really fully check this place out during the daytime, but now that it's night, they're just like, Oh, yeah! You're, disgusting. You're pretty Look brave. If I were an Og, I don't think I'd be outside this That's soon after what happened at Utulek like train station. Be Gotta check out the, the Red Queen, get some strippers and the everything. The crime family controls this district, so if you're planning on starting anything, I'd think twice. Yeah, don't worry, I'm doing a non-lethal playthrough, so... Mostly non-lethal. I've been to a few of these places around the world, you know. Never gets old. Uh-huh. I'm not one of those sex tourists or anything. I just like the seedier side of things. That sounds like a funny justification. For some reason, it was really crowded and everybody seemed overexcited. Did you notice that? Yes, that's because they're selling some special items. Did you notice? Don't be so uptight. Have some fun. Fine. That street exhibit looks interesting. I'll go I check it out. A street exhibit? Something for everyone. Which one? The view that one? Would look like from the top of Is that an augmented lady? Probably. So, here we are they the are! Different types of arm augments, too! God, I wouldn't want that anywhere near me. This is a great city you've got here. There's so much to see, so much to do. I'm not racist against augmented people. I, wish I, could I just don't want my dick to get ripped off. Looks like from above. If you're selling something, we're not interested. Sorry. But it could be really I think cool. Prague has a special community where people like you can go. Excuse. Uh huh. You know what? Whatever. You looking for something like a fight, Uyobok? I like your face paint. You better not cause any trouble. I wonder what it would look like with a bit of red. <laughs> we get a lot of tourists that come to Prague, especially for this. Jeez. Si tady novej, mohla bych ti ukázat ty nejkrásnější místa. I don't want to see the prettiest sights, because I have to go behind the scenes and deal with the dirtier sides, the crime sides, you know, with everybody sitting here with guns in the street. I'd love to give you a tour. How much would that cost? I noticed more locals coming here lately. There's too many NPCs around here. I, hear, I want to hear everything they say. You won't catch me here very often, oh, but I hadn't realized that. You may not get many yeah, more chances yeah, exactly. to really let loose. What is going on with this building right here? It looks like it might be related to the main mission. So I actually don't want to try it out too immediately. I have to go deal with Vince Black. You know, every time I come here, I notice something I didn't the last time. Maybe you they change things me. up. There's lots of eye candy on display. Once they were on top of the world. The richest. The ones who could afford to better themselves. Now look. People will not even cross the street to spit on them. Maybe it is what they deserve. You're like... Super dirty lady. She's like a homeless lady chilling out in front of everything else. I sell things too, I guess. You've got to admit. There's lots of eye uh, Hi. I could... Um, go for some of what you're selling. I'm not... Oh. I'm not into that. Never mind. I'm not really sure how this works. <laughs> Apparently I can open the doors. Howdy! Alright, I'll let you take it. You interested in trying the Red Queen special? That's me. 
I can help you take your mind off all your troubles. Don't be bashful. Satisfaction. <laughs> it gets muffled. I can get past them. There's actually like a hallway behind them. I can recognize a former police officer from a mile away. Once they learn the walk, they never forget it. Oh. Everyone she's got me called out already. I don't talk to cops, even the retired ones. Fine, whatever. What about the other people? Hello! Finally a real man. What is up with your arms? You like what you see, big man? Lots of choice at the Queen. But you're looking at the best. You are out of luck, though. I am booked solid for the night. And I do mean solid. Okay. I'll do, I'll do other things. So this is the Red Queen? We're going straight into the Red Queen to find out who the informant is. Leave me alone. I don't want to hear from you anymore. Look at you. I bet you never have to worry about street crime. Whatever your cause is, Ark, Church of the Machine God, the Vault, whatever. Keep it to yourself. What is this guy doing? Come on, I'm holding. I know what you're thinking. It's probably really expensive. And it is. But it's the experience of a lifetime, friend. What are you selling? Don't hesitate. Don't think. When has that ever worked out for anybody? Just get in there and follow your instincts. Don't thank me in the morning. I guess he's advertising. Oh, snap. That is straight up titties on a board. No. Oh, dark. Somewhat no. handsome. Okay, we're done here. We're going into the Red Queen. I hope I don't have to censor anything. More. Hello, bartender. I wish to learn some information. You must have quite the pair on I'll give you that. I thought the Red Light District was more liberal. No, no, nothing like that. Your money's as good as anyone else's, except, uh, we haven't had too many augmented in here. You worried I'll put the other customers off their entertainment? In the Red Queen, you're more likely to get some offers, handsome. Yeah. So, what will it be? Well, I need information. So, gossip. I'll drink, actually, first. What do you have? Nothing but the finest. Because I might as well, in order to make it seem like I'm a paying customer. Enjoy it. Who wants some information? Wow. Red light district always this busy. Only at night. Locked up tight during the day. That's when the rest of the old district gets to share the tour. <laughs> you could say that. A little less adventure. You know, museum goers, souvenir buyers, walk around with cameras glued to their faces. Not that there's anything wrong with that. You live in the city long enough, you take things for granted. Ignore all the sights and sounds around you that make it special. Yeah, I know the feeling. You only miss that stuff when you've left. That's a nice thing to say. She recognizes that. Tourism is okay! The Queen's got a pretty liberal management policy. A lot of places in this city wouldn't even let me in the door. The whole red light district is like that. Mostly. Besides, some of our most popular employees are augmented. It's kind of hypocritical to turn them away as customers. Smart business practice. Oh yeah. The owners here are real smart businessmen. Part of the reason the Red Queen is the most popular club in the district. Are you sure it's not because they're mafia? Oh! I don't want to get in trouble. And I don't want to lose this job. Don't worry. Just getting the lay of the land. <laughs> Jensen dropping the Diwali family implications. All the trouble lately can't be good for business. You kidding? We deal in sex and alcohol. Times get tough, the man goes up, not down. People are looking to escape, you know? Play out some fantasies, have fun. And a little thing like the possibility of another bombing isn't enough to keep them at home. Well, we don't have to worry about that anymore. Don't know if you heard, but they got the bastard who was behind the Ruzika explosion. But he wasn't! What do you mean? Rucker, the leader of our 
I guess the cops smoked them out of this Who said he's dead and Ark was basically the son? Terrorist gone. Poof. Like that. So we got nothing to worry about. Right? Yeah. Right. That is a very ignorant thing to think. Fine with what I have. A man's got the noise limits. I heard that in the movie. You see, the problem is, if they are a legitimate terrorist organization, killing them off, killing the leader, will just make them a disorganized terrorist organization. And I don't know about you, but I'm far... far more worried about a disorganized terrorist organization than one that was keeping its shit together for the most part. Ah, in Klitka. You're the most beautiful woman I have ever seen. I am? Thank you! This place is better than the brochure! Did you see the chick who like walked up on stage and then immediately walked off? Hey! <laughs> Look, I've got some powerful augs. Military grade. But I'm not for sale. I'm just curious. Uh, hi. We don't have anything like you back home. Sorry, that was rude. I've had a few. Oh, you know, since the time. But I guarantee. Fuck is this guy doing? <laughs> He's like doing a hand animation for throwing money. Sorry, friend, not my style. I don't like stuff. <laughs> oh, all right, that's all you have a problem with. The real star here is Agnieszka. Who? The way she moves and dances, even blind men turn their heads to watch. Blind men. Away from me. Okay. Are you Agnesia? I can't even pay. Stop telling me stuff like this. I'm here at least a couple times a week, especially lately. It keeps my mind off the troubles. <laughs> you look pretty fancy for someone who's just like, yeah, you know, I want to come over here and chill out. I don't partake of the Ladies, I only drink and watch. Uh-huh. I won't judge you. Much. I'll still judge you a little bit. Oh, yeah. That's not a room. I use a bathroom. Okay. Um, crap. What is... Nope, that's not what I'm looking for. Nope, also not what I'm looking for. I don't remember the... There we go. Button I had for... Uh, Dark Vision, or God, sorry, I've been playing Dishonored. Going from one stealth game to another is gonna really fuck with me. I hope I never get that desperate. Excuse you? You just look too dangerous to be alone with. Okay, alright. Fair enough. I'm glad you you clarified. What to say, lady? She put the place here? In a private room? With a, with a... I'm sorry, but I'm still freaked out by all of this. So she's having a fling with an augmented gigolo. So what? Couples use sex toys together all the time. Think of this as the same thing. Only the devices are attached to nerve endings. Uh... Stop that! Yeah, Jesus. what? She's had this fantasy forever. Why is she suddenly in such a hurry now? The vote, of course. I don't care what the politicians say. As soon as the axe comes down, the augmented are as good as extinct. Jesus Christ. She's just like, look, it's okay if she's cheating on you with a juggalo. God, it's just like a sex toy. About the vote. Once it passes, you're screwed. Eh, I've got ways to survive. When the segregation becomes law, all the augmented sex workers in the city will be out of a job. Typical governments, outlawing fun. Ugh. I don't figure you for one of the men who work in the private rooms. That is because I am not one of the men who work in the private rooms. Augmented prostitutes over there, people like you over here. It's true what they say. Humans are defined by sex and violence. Wow, excuse you, I'm not that violent. I'm like 70% violent. What's going on here? Well, that's obviously not a good place to break into. Walk outside of their homes right now, because if they do, the level of hatred and suspicion 
I want to see what's going on in here. Are they just having a conversation? They're just- they're not doing anything. Leave me alone. Best club in Prague, friend. But I am busy right now. Didn't I see you in the streets before advertising this place? Yeah, he even has that stupid bow tie thing. Try one of the other boys. Or girls, if that's what you're into. <laughs> I don't want to speak to you. Why? I don't want to speak to you. Although they're both smoking cigarettes, and that is sometimes a sign that they already did what they could do. Ugh. I'm sorry, buddy. What's in the back over here? More rooms? Can't go into here? No. Oh. I can recognize a former police officer yeah. from a mile away. Holy shit, she recognized my Augs without even turning her head completely. <laughs> I was told I would have to get augmented to survive in this business. Yeah, it's really unfortunate. What are you doing? Texting on the job? You're supposed to be like, oh man, notice me on the second floor. Don't bother trying to be tricky, sugar. They've been watching you since you set foot into the district. You stick out like, what do you Americans say? A sore thumb? Yes, that's it. I'm taking your money. They will not bother you though. Not in public, anyway. Try to stay out of any dark alleys, okay, cutie? But I love dark alleys. People do try to attack me and then I can just punch them in the face. And that, that makes me happy. You could say it's my kind of thing. Okay, what's going on in here? There's a green investigation arrow. Maybe I should... I'm not gonna walk through the front door of it, though. There's gotta be, like, a vent that leads down or something. Over here! Come on. Uh... No. You want to drink? Let See the wrong. bartender. You want anything else? You know what to do. I don't! I shoot people for a living. I do not do those crazy things. I'm Catholic. <laughs> okay, you're Catholic. It is my pleasure to serve you. What would you like? Well, I'll have a whiskey. Coming right up. Anything else? Give me information. Nope, no information? Crap, okay. I'm alright for now. If that ever changes, I'll be here waiting. Okay. Oh. Oh, God. I might not have actually grabbed my drink from downstairs now that I've seen this. <laughs> Hello! Oh, hold up. Okay. She's probably the contact. My favorite color is black. What about you? Absolutely. The architect. I'm a pretty big fan of black, too. You are a human, aren't you? Okay. You want the real dirty stuff or the rough stuff? Get some street walk. This is a classy establishment. The management take a dim view of perverts. Are you sure? Because all the people downstairs are offering probably a lot more than they keep on saying. This place is slick. You must feel right at home. Are you Vincent Black? It's me, Dobromila. Please, you... No, you, you are too... I'm sorry, I have made a mistake. I'm waiting for someone. Well, you really think you should be saying my name out loud in a place like this? Oh gosh. Well, we could try bluffing. You really think you should be saying my name out loud in a place like this? So it is you. Discretion. Right. I'm sorry. But it was your bright idea to meet here of all places. Not exactly the safest part of Prague to... <sighs> you didn't mention that you were augmented in your description. What difference does it make? None, I suppose. And I don't mean to stare. It's just... It doesn't fit with your reputation. Is it the gold My trimmings? Huh? Man's not always aware of what people say about him. What else have you heard? People are wary of you. They say that you are everyone's enemy. Everyone's friend. They... They also say you are one of the few who has the courage to expose the Diwali for what they really are. I can help with that. But first, I need to know I can trust you. 
What kind of trouble are you in, exactly? You know exactly what kind of trouble I'm in. My husband, Blister, he... The operation you've been digging into it... Come closer. Pretend you're kissing my neck. Uh. Your husband runs a Diwali operation. I'm assuming there are people in here who know who he is. You don't think me kissing his wife might draw unwanted attention? Flirting is one thing. They expect it. He cheats on me, I cheat on him. But his business is something else entirely. We must be discreet, darling. Please. I'll tell you whatever I can. Whatever you want. We are being stared at by those thugs. Here. This isn't the time to ask questions. You understand, yes? Fine. Yes, I understand. We should talk somewhere else. Uh, I need to know who you've been talking about or to about me. Fine, I understand. We should talk somewhere else. I am leaving by train tonight. There is a secluded courtyard by the tracks. Shikashka, go before me and I'll meet you there. I don't want anyone to see us walking out together. You sure you'll be alright until then? <laughs> <laughs> I've survived marriage to that man for this long. I think I can make it one more night. Death flag! I'll be okay. I just need another drink to get my courage up and to loosen my tongue. We'll see each other soon. I promise. Alright, well, uh... Where am I going? Travel to Procasco. So that's the other side of the map, right? Yep! It is the other side of the map over here. Gosh. Outside. <sighs> By the tracks, darling. Okie dokes. I'm getting on out of here. We're gonna make a hard save. And we're gonna hope that nothing bad happens. Now, I'm curious what's going on in here. I see. I have a quick save before I told her that I understand. Hello! Make sure to show respect. Master Kadlik, I am the honor of the Red Queen. I make a point of knowing everything important, but you? You, I do not know. Could be I'm not important. Oh, please. Have you seen yourself in a mirror lately? Besides, I have a healthy curiosity. It is important to a mother. Mom wouldn't be thrilled about me being in a place like this. <laughs> really? I can't imagine why. A good time never hurt anyone. Uh, critique, caution, ignore if you say so. Ooh. If you say so. Oh, but I do say so, metal man. And my word is law in my domain. So relax. Enjoy yourself. It's a very wholesome place. Wholesome? The Red Queen is a family business. My eldest son works the bar. The other does security upstairs. Come in on the weekend and you'll meet one of my nieces, Agnieszka. She's the late show. You see around here, nothing comes before family. I see. Okay, well, I do have questions. I didn't want to threaten her in front of a bunch of people with guns. What can you tell me about the red light district? Oh, you can't be that naive. Then again, we don't get many of your kind through here. As clients. And why is that? Because the Diwalis control it. Now, if an Og's money is good, it challenges our preconceptions. We can be very accommodating. Still, when it comes to your kind, some among us are... What's the word? Prejudice. <laughs> skeptical, intimidated, ignorant. Ooh. What do you skeptical? Skeptical. Yes. Yes. That's a very good word for it. Skeptical. Especially when the organ question seems to be all dressed up for something. It makes the other customers nervous. I just have a good sense of fashion. I understand your family is very important to you. Does that include a kid named Dominic? Ah, I didn't think you were here for the scenery. I'm here to repay a favor. 
This club is my confession. People stop by, whisper in my ear. Sometimes I forgive, sometimes not. Lately, I hear one of the Diwali men wants to reconcile with me. How old-fashioned of him. He helps you out, you help him out. I take it Dominic's causing some kind of trouble. Dominic has made bad choices for himself and for his family. We have tradition to consider. So I ask you, what is the best way to get a hot-headed young man out from where he does not belong? Uh, leave him alone. <laughs> you say he's a man, you treat him like a man. When you talk to him, you say whatever it takes to make him understand your point of view. If you know for a fact he's in over his head, why give him a choice? I feel like she'd agree with this. If you know for a fact he's in over his head, why give him a choice? You go in there and you drag him out. My thoughts exactly. Uh -huh. Not always easy though, is it? Boys can be very stubborn. Then what did you have in mind? My hands are bound by politics. You, I think, have the look of someone used to working around political matters. Perhaps you could kidnap Dominic. <laughs> look at my eyebrows! Kidnap? <laughs> okay. I want to understand this better. What makes Dominic your... our problem? Sometimes the Valley operations need sharp young toughs who can wave a gun, and sometimes they need men who can look good in a suit and make allegiances. So which type is he? I made an arrangement for Dominic. I found him a woman, found him a place, away from all this, where he was useful to the family. But he thinks he knows better. He thinks like Radich Nikolaitz. He's a runaway groom. You wanted to marry him off, he wants to sit at the kingpin's table. And this costs you, doesn't it? You're very perceptive. Dominic is disposable to ravage, but to me, he can bring a more capable wife into the fold. My fold. Okay, well, I'll go see what the situation is like. Alright, where's Dominic now? What do you want me to do? They call it Hotel Narikala, an old Georgian joke. One of Radich's safe houses. Dominic knows we cannot interrupt Radich's hospitality. And that's where I come in. It's heavily guarded, I assume. Mm -hmm. And surveillance systems, alarms. This is the boy. Jeez, what the hell am I getting so myself I into? into? This building, find Dominic. Tell him he's expected back home. No. You get in, you incapacitate Dominic. You bring him out and leave him in a cozy storage locker. No one can see any of this happen. You want me to knock this guy out and drag him through a building full of Radish's men, undetected? You're kidding, right? Where I am from, abduction of the bride was a time-honored custom. <laughs> so you think of this as an act for equality. You'll know Dominic by his tattoo. Do not bring me the wrong man. I don't know what side I'm supposed to be going for here. Okay, all in the family. What the heck is this? Is that a main mission? I've agreed to do one last favor for Otar. It involves working with Masa Kodlik. Ah. Masa mentioned this place had a surveillance network. Getting Dominic out without being seen might be easier if I find the local security hub first. Okay, and where is that? Right around the corner? It's probably gonna be right around the corner. Oh, car, oh, car, all right. Watch well, the back. I've learned some things. And I just quick saved, so uh, if the chick that we're trying to talk to dies, oopsie. All right, so I'm supposed to break into the Diwali territory apartments. Ugh. Well, before I do any of that, let me check out what's going on in here. Hello, bartender. Welcome to the Irish stool, buddy. Pull one up, and I will see what we can do for you. Irish stool, catchy name, very evocative. I like to think so. Well, what will it be? Looking for a man named Nomad Stanek. Heard he might be in here. Yeah, you're not the first. A couple of Interpol agents asked me about him too. What did he do? Is he in trouble or something? He possibly blew up a building. I can't go into details about an ongoing investigation. Where did you say they were? Downstairs. Don't mess up the place, okay? By the way, you want anything? 
Sure. Hit me up with the nail. No Actually, problem. Something else? Maybe Nomad Static isn't who I'm thinking he is. Not right now, thanks. I've got something to get to. 